Hey Kids Life, Matt here. Today we're starting our new two week Easter series and it's called Jesus Gives. We're gonna be talking about the story and the meaning of Easter and some of the things that happened in the lead up to Jesus dying on the cross. But first, we have a new memory verse for the next two weeks and it's in the book of John, chapter three, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. This week, try memorizing the verse. Try creative and different ways that you can do that. Uh, make a poster, create a game with your siblings, uh, cut up the words like we do in Kids Life and rearrange them. Or how about an interpretive dance? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Amen. Have fun this week, but hey, let's get into the game. It's game time, guys, and today we're playing a game called Add To It. You can play this game with as many people as you like or in pairs. You need to start by facing each other. The first person will do an action. The next person must copy that action and then add another one to it. The next person must copy those two actions and then add another one. You're gonna keep doing this and keep adding actions until you can't remember them anymore. Are you ready to try? You got three minutes on the clock. Go! Did you have fun? It really tests your memory, huh? Now it's time to get in 
to the word. Rock, paper, scissors. No. Ah. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper. Hey guys, oh, I'm so glad I found you. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, what's with the bucket and stuff? Oh, well, I was reading my Bible yesterday and I was reading about Jesus and you know how we're meant to follow him and do everything that he does? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, there's this one story where Jesus washes his best friend's feet. What? So I, yeah, well, you guys are my best friends. You're my best friends, right? Yeah. Of course we are, yeah. Matt. Of course we are. Great. Yeah. Let me wash your feet. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. Matt, mm -hmm. I think you may have misunderstood what Jesus was trying to say in the story. What do you mean? Let's look at the story, and then we can find out what Jesus meant. Yeah, yeah, come on, Matt, let, let's go. Oh, can I bring my bucket? Mm. No, mm -mm. no. Let's go. Come on. Okay. When the world was created, God made men and women as his most special creation. He loved them so much. When they disobeyed God and were separated from him, it made him very sad. It broke his heart. But God had a special plan. He had a son named Jesus who he gave the most special job to, to save the whole world, us. But in order to do that, he would have to do something extraordinary, something astonishing, something incredible. He would have to send his son to die for us. We know that Jesus came to earth as a baby, was raised by his earthly parents, Joseph and Mary, and grew up as a builder. When he was around 30, he was baptized and began doing all sorts of amazing miracles, like healing people, raising the dead, calming storms, and walking on water. Crazy, right? But even though Jesus did a lot of good things, lots of people didn't like him. This is because they cared more about themselves and the rules that they had than they cared about helping and loving people. But Jesus was different. He loves people just as God his Father does, and so he only cared about what his Father wanted him to do. Because Jesus was man, but also God, he knew that he would eventually have to die for all the people they both loved. The night before Jesus was captured, he held a feast with his disciples known as the Last Supper. At this feast, Jesus, knowing that one of his best friends was going to betray him, did something pretty incredible. Jesus got down and washed their feet. Imagine that, the Son of God, the King of Kings, gets down on the ground and washes your feet like a servant would. Not only that, but he washes the feet of Judas, the man who he knew was about to betray him. Jesus didn't wash his disciples' feet because they were dirty. He washed their feet to show them that he loved them and that love is shown in how we treat and serve people. Jesus was showing his friends how much he loved them so that they would follow his examples in loving others. Jesus gives love so that we can give love to others. So washing people's feet isn't a bad thing, but what Jesus was actually trying to show us by washing his friends' feet was that he wasn't too important to serve people. What he wants us to know is that it's everybody's job to love people and to show love through serving them. Hmm, maybe there's a different way I can show my friends I love them besides washing their feet. Hmm. Oh, I could wash Sarah's car without her even knowing. <laughs> that would be really cool. Oh, ooh, and for Andrew, hmm. Oh, he did just get here from Australia. So I bet there's lots of things I could get him to help him settle into Canada, like maple syrup or beard brush. There are so many things we can do to serve people and show them that we love them just like Jesus does.